churro food truck in First Co. And they got so many different kinds of churro. We got we got strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, and caramel. And I got two of some flavors because it seems to be good. So let's try it out first. First thing I'm gonna try is the uh, caramel. As you can see, you can see all the filling is inside of it. We got. It's not too sweet because it, it's not that sweet with the caramel, which is kind of weird, but it's a little good. Not really my favorite one, but let's try the other ones. Here is the chocolate one right there. Try this out. Oh, that chocolate goodness. Kind of looks like a chocolate chip cookie. So for me, for this one, the chocolate one, it kind of tastes like a chocolate chip cookie, but it just has cinnamon flavor in it. So let's try the other two flavors. I think this one's vanilla. Just a little bit of caramel spilled onto it. There go. That's all the vanilla goodness in there. I just want to focus my camera. Let's try it. Oh, this one, it kind of tastes like custard, so it's really good. But it's just really light and fluffy, so it just melts right in your mouth. Let's try the very last one. It's the strawberry one. Bring it in half so we can see what it looks like inside. Wow, that actually looks really good. Let's try it. This one tastes like I'm eating strawberry jelly inside. What's up, guys? So I got my Jolly Bee right here. About to go eat it up in a few minutes and let's go. today because this is only limited oh, no. so I'll get yours today while it's still here so yeah <laughs> So let's go try out the flavor. First, I'm gonna try is the black sesame. So here we go. Look how doughy and bubble that is. It's really stretchy too. So let's try. So it tastes really chewy. So mochi is kind of similar to rice cake, so it's pretty good too. And then black sesame, it tastes kind of just like peanut butter, what? which is weird as well. So let's try the other flavors. The green tea donut right here. I'm gonna get a piece of the ball because that's how small the pieces are here. Now I try in one bite. It's just like a matcha green tea donut, but it's just in the size of a mochi star, so it's more lighter but a little heavier at the same time, but still good. Here's the cinnamon one. Look how stretchy it is. There we go. This one's super light because it's not too much flavoring on top. It's just a simple cinnamon sugar donut. Yeah, so let's try the other ones. Okay, and then this is the matcha oil mochi donut. Let's try it. It's satisfying to watch. Here we go. This one is really sweet. You can taste the oil, the matcha flavor in it. Not really my type of style. Let's try the other ones. So this is the second to last one. This is the donut mochi donut. Let's see if it's too sweet, um, needs more flavor, or it's just enough flavor. So here we go. This one isn't as sweet than the... What? Well, this one is a little bit more sweeter than the matcha what? oil one. Because it <laughs> is chocolate. And this one, the chocolate tastes just like Nesto chocolate. So if you like Nesto chocolate, be sure to try this out. Cause this is 
the one for you. And then this one is the very new flavor that they had over there. I forgot what it's called. I believe it started with a K, but I'm not sure what it tastes. But it's actually how to actually say it. Oh wow, this one tastes just like peanut butter also, yeah. but it has more of the peanut butter taste in it because it's more nutty and more it's more creamier too than the um the last one that I tried where it tasted like peanut butter. The black sesame one. And this is what we got. We got the cheesy taiyaki or takoyaki. There we go. Takoyaki. That's what it looks like a dorm. It just tastes just like, it's just a regular takoyaki, but it just has mozzarella on it. There's nothing else I can say about it. It is delicious, but it probably wouldn't have been better if I ate it fresh because it's mozzarella. And then you have that amazing cheese pull. Let's move on to the next one. Let's go. Alright guys, so our very last dish, hopefully. We got our takoyaki again, yeah. but it's not regular takoyaki. It's ponsu. So, that's what it looks like. Let's eat it up. That's what the inside looks like. Now this one, man. This one, I can I can gladly say that this one is delicious. This one has more flavor, has a balance of pretty much everything that Takoyaki has. But it needs a little bit more flavor. I'm not sure what else it needs, but it's really flavorful. The cheese one. Be sure to try this Takoyaki. <laughs> So about to try it, check out what flavors that they have here, and let's go. So the very white one, vanilla chocolate chip. So this one is actually not vanilla. It's it tastes like salted salted caramel. So this is the next one I'm gonna try. It's the mango Thai basil. So here we go. Try eating one whole bite, but my mouth is really small, so it's hard to eat. So the mango Thai basil is actually good. It tastes just like mango, but it has like a hint of like cayenne pepper, like a little heat to it, which is pretty different. But it tastes kind of good, surprisingly. So let's move on to the next dishes. The next one I'm going to pull out is this one right here. Raspberry crunch. Sorry guys, I'm struggling here. Here we go. So it looks like inside. As you can see. It really has the crunch in it. It's pretty strong. So if you like raspberries and you like that flavor, be sure to try it. So let's try the next one. I believe this is mandarin orange. So here we go. So it's not, it is actually Thai tea. It tastes exactly just like that Thai tea drink. It's pretty good. It just needs boba and mm, that's good. And let's try out the next one, passion fruit one. So here we go. Hopefully I can get it. It's really fruity. Not really my kind of taste, but if you really like, like passion fruit drinks, it tastes just like the drink and it's really refreshing, it's not too heavy too, and it just needs boba as well, and lychee, honestly. Lychee or boba, it tastes just like the passion fruit tea. It's really good. Let's try the other last few flavors, so here we go. This one, this orange one, must be mandarin orange. So that one, the mandarin orange, it tastes just like the creamsicle popsicle back in the day in the childhood. It tastes just like it. It's just a little bit more sweeter. Let's try the other two flavors. 
And then this one, I believe it's the lychee one, but let's try to make sure it really is that flavor. So this one, it, for me, it tastes just like a hint of lychee. So it's kind of disappointing, but let's try the very last one. Vanilla chocolate chip That's what it looks like. And that dot right here, you can see that black dot. It's actually chocolate chip. It just tastes just like a, a cookie dough. So it tastes really good. If we know those batters back in the day where you just heat it in the oven and you can eat it, you can eat it heat in the oven or you can just eat it raw. I was one of those people. That, that, that ice cream right there, the vanilla chocolate chip, it tastes just like that. <laughs> Until next video, let's go.